This is the Uptick Newswire Stock Day Podcast, sponsored by InvestorsHangout.com. Subscribe to us on iTunes, Google Play, and YouTube to stay up to date on penny stock news and interviews, public information on OTC, pink sheets, and microcap stocks from around the world, with your host, Everett Jolly. On today's show, we have a returning guest. And it's been a little while since he's been on the show, and I'm glad for him to come back, give us an update, what's going on with this company. We're talking no other than Cortex Business Solutions. Well, they trade on the TXX Venture, ticker symbol uh, CBX. They also trade on the uh, OTQX, ticker symbol CTPNF. With us today is the CEO of that company, Joe uh, Lutzo. Joe, welcome to the show. Good afternoon. Thanks, Everett. You know, we've gotten a lot of new listeners since the last time you've been on the show. We inked a pretty big deal with the NASDAQ. So for our new listeners, give them a little bit about statement of who you guys are and what you're all about. Sure. So Cortex is an electronic invoicing network, and that may sound uh, somewhat trivial in 2017. <laughs> uh, but Gardner would say 80% of, of businesses still transact invoicing on paper. And so what the Cortex business is, is taking... Uh, a digital uh, rendering of that actual invoice, sending it through the Cortex network, which is a, think of it as a transport mechanism in the cloud, and then we securely deliver it to the buyer for payment um, to the tune of about 14 million documents a year we're processing. Well, you know, the last time that uh, you were on my show, we talked about what your team's done to revitalize the company. And uh, I just want to know if you might be able to give us a, a positive uh, result of what, what you guys have been doing and, and the efforts that your team's been uh, doing you know, behind the scenes. Sure. Well, Everett, I have to tell you, I couldn't be more proud of the team. I've been here for two and a half years. And, and, and as you all know from our first conversation, we were burning about $7 million a year at that time. Uh, pre-revenue. And uh, today we're sitting with six and a half million in the bank, three quarters of cash flow positive from operations in our, our rear view mirror and uh, an ambition to stay profitable and continue to grow the company. So um, when I think about that statement in and of itself, being able to have said that to you two years ago would have been an absolute dream to think that we've accomplished this much together. So uh, really an exciting time, but it's our revenue is growing. Um, you know, I, I think uh, easy mark in the past 24 months, somewhere between rough math, $8 million to $12 million in reoccurring revenue. You know, last time that you were on the show and the, and the time previous to that, we talked about where the growth came from. And correct me if my number's are wrong, I, I think in the first or second quarter, the growth was from the project management fees. Is that still where the growth is at, or, or do we have another uh, department that's growing faster than that? Well, that, that particular influx of revenue was from a monster project that we closed, probably similar to your NASDAQ deal. It was uh, you know, definitely one for the record books for the year. But the reality of it is our business is growing in multiple ways. Um, you know, in that particular column or bucket in the financials, it's a huge growth, 2,000% plus. Um, but that's not really where the growth in our business is going to come from. Our growth is the, the spreading of our network and the user uh, count and number of companies that are actually leveraging our service. So right now we've got about 8,500 companies uh, that leverage. And so our growth is going to be twofold. One in the oil and gas space, which is a Calgary-based company, is kind of where we started the business as our roots. It is you know, clearly our backyard is uh, plenty of oil companies, but the reality is we wrote this application for anyone. Uh, frankly, it would work in your business, Everett, so, and as well as your listeners. So our growth is going to be coming from bringing new folks onto the network, introducing them to the value of what we do, and the return on investment for our platform tends to be about 10 to 1. So I like to say we're paying you to be a customer. Come on. Join the party. <laughs> you know, do you see Cortex value just remaining in the oil and gas area? Or are you guys going to stretch out to different uh, industrial areas in 2018? You know what, Everett? We're going to capitalize on the inroads we made in 2016 and 2017 in other verticals. So uh, if you go to our website, Cortex.net, you're going to see several case studies from companies not in the oil business. Uh, one is from Luff Manufacturing. One is from the Calgary Flames, the hockey team up here in Canada. And um, we're really excited about what we've done. But with most, I'll say, expansions of a business, you start with a new customer and a new vertical. You see if it works. Um, in this case, we've had some wonderful customers as partners who've helped us. 
they've documented those savings and we've been able to go out to the market and say, hey, look at what we've done already in your space. And so hence that's where the growth is going to come from in these other verticals besides oil and gas. Now that being said, we're still very much interested in the oil and gas business. And, um, you know, the majority of our revenue today still comes in from that uh, arena. We're going to continue to grow that aspect of the business. But if the plans come together, I'm going to outpace that growth in oil and gas with other verticals. Company that we're highlighting today here on Stock Day is Cortex Business Solutions, Inc. Well, they trade on the OTCQX, ticker symbol CTPNF. They also trade on the TSX Venture, CBX. What does the future hold for your company, and where do we go from here in 2018 that we didn't uh, accomplish in 2017? Well, um, pretty exciting time for us, really. In many ways, everything that we've done in the past two and a half years, three years, has led up to this point. It is time to shift from, you know, I'll say recovery mode and stabilization mode to just simply growth mode. We've got a new CFO on board actually since uh, the last time that I saw you, Everett, so we're super excited about it. His name is Jason Baird. Uh, he comes from actually one of our clients in the oil and gas space and really knows the business well. Um, him being able to be a, a peer of mine in the business and be able to offload some of the executive duties I've been doing myself to him will allow me to go out and spend more time on the commercial side of our business, which is you know, quite frankly, more fun for me, and it's also going to be good for the business. You know, you brushed over the revenues kind of quickly. I wanted to make sure that my listeners uh, got those numbers again. So what would you think you'll finish up for the year of 2017 and just in revenues? Well, we're a, we're a fiscal company to July, and we finished our year in July at just shy of 12. Uh, we finished our most recent quarter uh, north of 12 with a uh, $500,000 EBITDA. So basically wow. we're pushing at this point about $2 million a year in EBITDA and uh, $12 million in revenue with our intent is to grow that uh, somewhere between 20 and 30% this year with an accelerating into 30 to 40% the following year. In closing, Joel, is there anything that we didn't get a chance to touch upon that you would like to get out there to the listeners? Well, what I would say, Everett, is we're small cap as, uh, you know, if hopefully you're, you're, Investors understand what that means, but I'd like to, to support them in a little bit different way. I, uh, I work in the mountain time zone. I open my phone every day at 6 a.m. for the East Coast callers to call me at 8, their time. And basically, I dedicate the first two hours of every day, five days a week for shareholders. And I know that typically sounds insane to people, but the truth is my phone doesn't ring that often. But I want people who have taken the leap to invest in small caps for the same reason that you've been so passionate in helping guys like us. The bottom line is them having access to the C-level executives for a conversation is what should make a small cap special. So I'm trying to do something a little bit different and allow them access to me every day to figure out what we're doing with their money. And, uh, you know, if uh, they'd like to call me, uh, my number is 587-582-3971. Well, Joe, I want to thank you for coming on the show. I wish you nothing but continued success up there with the Cortex Business Solutions. And if I don't get to talk to you for the end of the year, which is a strong possibility that might come true, happy holidays and a Merry Christmas. And thank you so much for taking time out and coming on the show. Thank you, Everett. It's always a pleasure. Have a good day. This program is entirely sponsored and produced by Uptick Newswire, LLC, which is responsible for the content. The opinions and information provided on this program are those of the guests and those of the respective companies they represent and do not necessarily reflect those of the staff or management of Uptick Newswire. Uptick Newswire encourages all listeners of this program to do their due diligence and research when determining investment strategies that will work for them or to seek the assistance of an investment professional. The guests of this program may have paid for its distribution and are not directly affiliated with Uptick Newswire or the station.